Look at what Becky's doing. Okay, so she's eating grapes and snap peas. She's dipping her snap peas in this yo play. How does that taste? I look like shit. Hey guys, so I just woke up, um, I don't know, about 20 minutes ago. Last night I was trying to schedule some videos for you guys and I started feeling really nauseous. Um, I haven't like peaked or anything, but I'm still really nauseous. Like I have the worst thoughts in my head, like, oh, am I dying? Hello everybody, um, I have noticed that there's been quite a few of you that's joined recently, so a big, big welcome to everybody that's new here. Uh, I hope that you really, really enjoy this. I have so much fun doing these videos. Um, I also want to apologize for being MIA for the past couple of days. I don't know what's happened. I told you guys I was um, sick the other day, and I got better. I did. And then I made a video. Then I had to take a couple of days off um, because I was feeling quite, you know, sick again. And uh, I thought... It's been too long, so let's start, and I've missed this. So today we're going to be focusing on um, Amber just giving up. This is what Amber is known to do, so I think this is what's actually made her really popular in the past, and I think it was Obese to Beast, I believe, he he believed that people watched people like Amber Lynn because they're such a train wreck. And I think Amber has said this herself as well. Um, I feel like she knows that this brings her money. And sometimes she probably puts it on, to be honest. I think she puts it on and makes it even more of a train wreck because she knows that that's what brings the money in. So let's watch and see what this is all about. It's going to be a good one. Please stick around. I love you all. Because I don't know why I'm nauseous. It really could be because I ate really, really bad yesterday. Um, I had Taco Bell, and then I had Mexican, and then I had a whole bag of chips and a whole box of Gushers. It was, it was, it was disgusting, but I feel really bad. I'm having like heartburn, which I know is from the Taco Bell because it started after the Taco Bell yesterday. It is fascinating absolutely fascinating that she can't put the two together she knows she's eaten like absolute crap and she's still not quite sure it's almost like mm, i don't know i can't put a finger on it maybe it was the food that i had well no shit ever and i'm just feeling like crap you guys look at me this is an update i no longer feel nauseous i think my problem was I haven't been getting much sleep lately and I know that when that happens people like experience weird things. This is just incredible to me. So she, do you notice how every time anything to do with her diet causes her some some kind of discomfort she seems to point out that it was something else. Like she told us all of the things that she's had that's caused her indigestion, nausea. But no, she feels like this because she's been sleep deprived. Who do you know that doesn't sleep very well, wakes up nauseated, and has indigestion? And I honestly feel like that was what was wrong because after I woke up from my nap, I'm feeling totally fine now. I look like a hot mess though. Uh, no, I don't think so. So a nap is probably like 15 to 20 minutes long, and I doubt that she's been napping. She's probably sleeping it off like a couple of hours at least. So I think what's happened is it's given her some time for her body to process all the stuff that she'd eaten, and now she's feeling okay. So I really, really hope that she doesn't say, I'm going to be ordering something, because none of the foods that she mentioned were homemade. And fine, you know what, don't have anything homemade, but when you order at least one of those meals, keep it clean. Not for the sake of just being healthy, but just for the sake of giving your bowels a break. I'm feeling better. I'm good. Everything's fine. I went back to sleep for what, like three hours, and I'm just feeling like a brand new person now. Exactly. See? That's not a nap. So... <sighs> this is what you call being delusional and absolutely oblivious to the fact that your symptoms were caused by your diet. Sure, 
you being sleep deprived is probably not helping, but you, I mean, you need to fix them both. It's both. Sorry. <laughs> oh, I'm about to do my makeup. I figured it might help me feel better. So we're going to do that while I'm watching Married at First Sight. I really enjoy this. No mention of diet at, at all. Um, so she's going to be doing anything, anything at all, apart from cleansing herself within from within i mean <laughs> and we have becky over here playing her cube tat game because she's obsessed right yeah. what level are you on uh 150 something are you for real i'm just trying to get ahead of you and eric absolutely no sense of self-awareness at all either so you can tell look at becky and how she pulls the pillow towards her legs because she doesn't want it to be filmed she didn't want to be filmed anyway she's not looking at the camera why are you filming her it doesn't even look like becky's dressed properly um or maybe she's wearing some some shorts i don't know but you can tell that she doesn't want to be filmed why are you pointing the camera at her like that becky was right by my side when i felt nauseous so that's super sweet her i wish she could see these clips now where you know, she keeps on bashing Becky and saying that she wasn't supportive. Hmm. Funny that, huh? I am, like, breaking out really bad, especially, like, right here. Um, I don't break out, really. And when I do, it's, like, always in, like, a clustered area. And it's always, like, really bad. Those are the oils from your orange chicken seeping out of your skin. My face looks so swollen. You're recording. <laughs> Becky, what are you doing? That was your cue, man. That was your cue. You were supposed to say, no, baby, you look amazing. You don't look swollen at all. <laughs> yeah. Oh, my God. Still nothing from Becky. I can't save you from this one, honey. You won't be getting your paycheck this week. Makeup is done. I'm gonna turn this into a whole like what I eat in a day when I'm not like dieting because I forgot to weigh myself. I'm not gonna weigh myself now. I've been awake for hours and I think it's just, you guys should kind of see the things that I'm eating. Um, so tomorrow is Monday, which we're gonna, we're gonna do this thing. Um, my 1600 calories and stuff like that. See, this is another thing that's interesting about Amberlynn. So she is, we all have a bit of Amberlynn in us. So we know that, you know, there are good days, there are bad days. You know, we go out with friends, we either eat too much of something and overindulge, or we, you know, have too much, too many drinks and we think, oh my God, yeah, I really screwed up yesterday. So let me, you know, sort myself out. So I think Amberlynn is like the everyday version of that. And I think people find that so fascinating because, we do that for one day and then for the next week we feel quite guilty and we just sort of try to fix it and then once a week we do another thing like that. Whereas for Amberlynn, this is a daily thing. So, it, I don't know, it's quite fascinating, really. So, Becky really wants to go to a place called Sunny's. She's been wanting to go for, how long has it been now? Um, a while. And how long have I kept saying, oh, it doesn't sound that good? A while. <laughs> So we've been always doing what you want to do and going where you want to go. Babe, that sounds so bad. No, I can see that happening. I feel like most of the places, Amber fix. And if Becky suggests something that Amber doesn't like, it's it's a straight up no. And Becky has to be like, mm, okay, because she probably feels like, well, I'm not qu contributing to, you know, financially. So I can't, I can't force it on her whereas remember with destiny destiny always said shut up amber <laughs> and destiny would always get what she wanted it would always be what destiny wanted and amber would follow well i mean always give in don't i oh my god that sounds so bad how to wait okay so i'm starting off with a diet soda hi how you doing <laughs> you're so cute I was having some indigestion this morning. I woke up feeling nauseated. So what I'm going to do to fix that is order a gallon of Coke and some beige food with a lot of croutons and mayo. Great. Sounds great. Okay. 
So Becky and I went to Kroger's and I just got something for tonight because I know I'm gonna be hungry later. So I got this bread. I love that type of bread with sandwiches. Um, where is it? Okay, I also got, I'm gonna be eating these later. This is six Big Cup Reese's. I'm probably gonna eat all of them or just like five or something. By the way, I'm not shitting on anyone who eats like this and it's fine, you know, sometimes you wanna eat like crap and that's completely fine. It's more of, why are you surprised? You know, if I've had that kind of a meal and I get some abdominal pain, nausea, and just feeling unwell, I, I know what's causing it, you know? It's just the surprise element that she has. So I don't really care that she's eating this way. Whatever, that's it's up to you, man. You're a grown-ass woman. We all do it from time to time, but why are you so surprised? Okay, so I decided for the sandwich, I'm actually going to be having that for dinner since the um, pulled chicken and the macaroni and cheese and stuff was my first meal. I'm going to consider that like a really weird breakfast. So I'm going to consider the sandwich my dinner. And for lunch, I'm getting hungry. It's only been... Gosh, it's only been about like three hours since I had um, my first meal. So I'm gonna go have McDonald's. I know that's really bad, um, but they have these like snack wraps that I really like. So we're gonna go get that and I will show you guys when I get it. How can you say this and then be so ridiculously in denial about what causes you to feel so shitty? You know, you were feeling tired because your body was tired from trying to process all that food. And you were putting it through and through again, the same shit. So you're going to wake up feeling tired again. You're having... The reason that you're so hungry is because you've had a sugar crash. So you've had so much sugar, so much food. And when I say sugar, I mean the the other the carbs that she's been having as well so she had so much energy so she's back now and she's having a crash and she's craving some more sugar and it's just going to keep on going up and down up and down up and down until her body's really really tired and she needs to have a really long sleep she's going to wake up feeling the same give it a couple of hours and then the cycle begins again i'm just not surprised here we are the good old mickey d's how may i help you oh one second just the two snack wraps mm. and a Sprite. Crispy. Okay. Um, I need uh, two snack wraps, crispy, and a large Sprite. Poor Becky having to drive her again to McDonald's <laughs> to buy her something. And you can tell because they only came for Amberlynn. Becky didn't order anything. The other thing is, when I was watching this live back then, I remember um, everyone in the comments were like, Oh, why is Becky so rude? She didn't even say please, thank you, nothing like that. And I do agree with that. I feel like it's more of a... Um, Becky was just so anxious and she was such a shy person. I think she wasn't really thinking about that kind of thing. But yeah, that was so rude. <laughs> so it's just... I think that's like ranch or something. Lettuce and... Okay, this is gross. I don't, I don't like touching my food really. So, and there's just chicken on the inside For god's sake amber this is a mcdonald's wrap stop opening it up like it's a fancy lobster tail we've all seen it we all know what it is <laughs> so that is all it is so there we go there is my lunch okay so here is my final meal the sandwich and bunions and in the sandwich that's what that looks like. I like my sandwiches pretty plain. Doesn't she always say that she loves to have a crunch? I suppose the Funyuns are the crunch there, but um, yeah, that looks like a really boring um, sandwich. I would have liked to have maybe some cucumber in that, some tomatoes, uh, green peppers, onions maybe would have been nice. And we have a cat. Well, we have two cats. <laughs> they smell the chicken. <laughs> um, and then I also have Reese's for later so that is everything my eating was horrendous today um but tomorrow is a new day and it will have absolutely nothing to do with how i feel tomorrow and i'm definitely going to be keeping you guys updated 
You guys have to realize that tomorrow is a new day and we can't be judging our girl on one video alone. So let's move on to another day. I know you guys saw a video from me recently, but I actually haven't vlogged in quite a few days. I have a sty in my eye. But anyways, Becky has a really bad headache, so she's just in the bedroom. I'm pretty sure it's a migraine, but I'm about to make me some bacon and eggs. Okay, important point here. Now, just remember what she said about Becky. She's probably got a migraine. If anyone knows what a migraine is, it's a terrible headache. And you really don't want to be pissing off someone who's got a migraine. <laughs> You know, we joke a lot, but I really do miss this for Amber. She looks like she's so mobile here. She's able, sure, she's bigger, but she's able to do a lot for herself. Becky's, you know, not well, and she's taking full control of her day. And I really do wish that for her, because independence is everything. Pretty simple, a caveman could do it. You guys remember those commercials? So this is just how I like my eggs. So what I normally do is I heat up my pan first, put it on the hob, wait for it to get hot and then Put in my eggs and it will cook really fast, like really quick. How do you guys do it? Look at what Becky's doing. Okay, so she's eating grapes and snap peas. She's dipping her snap peas in this yo play. How's that taste? I look like shit. Baby, you, I just got to tell you how sexy you look. I feel like crap too. I know, her head hurts, but how does yeah, it taste? I've had a migraine all day. I'm starving. I mean, y'all, like, try it. It might be good. Who knows? So here's the thing. Amber was really getting on Becky's nerves. Becky's been having a migraine all day. She just wanted to have something to eat, and she's there just filming her. When Becky says, I look like shit, she doesn't want people her to tell her that, no, you look beautiful. She's saying, I look like shit. Don't film me. Agenda. Becky and I, we have to go to Walmart. Like I said, I got to get ink. And we're going to go for dinner. It's really funny. Didn't you just eat? How do you have dinner straight after eating? I vlog every time we go here. We're actually going to go to Texas Roadhouse. I'll show you guys calories. So far today, I've only ate in the one time. I want to make this video like everything I ate today. Portland strikes again. I've only eaten once today. Everything, so... I'll show you guys calories and all that. I think I had 210 calories. Wait, 213 calories actually for breakfast because it was 53 for the bacon, uh, 120 for the eggs, 40 for the mandarin. She hyper fixates on these numbers so bad. Like who cares if it was 213 or 214 or whatever you had. So she's acting like she's training for a marathon. So yeah, and today I've only been drinking water. So we're doing like a what I ate today slash hi vlog. <laughs> so Texas Roadhouse was jammed packed. So Becky and I decided to go to this Chinese restaurant that we really like. I got two rat crab rangoon, an egg roll, two pieces of this like chicken stuff that I like tons of white rice as you guys can tell and a little bit of this like curry vegetable stuff that I really like so that is what I got from there so today has taken a huge turn for the worse which this is what happens <laughs> pretty much every day um I'll wake up super motivated to lose weight eat healthy count my calories and the first half of the day is great. And then I'm like, well, let's go out to eat. And, you know, I'll count my calories no matter what I get. Which, 
once I get there, I overdo it. <laughs> no, I really do feel for her. Um, I do in some ways, and I some in some ways I don't. She has so much money. She can have like a private chef, a dietitian, a personal trainer. She could have it all. Why would you not do it? Um, now maybe she just doesn't want to. That's the thing. So we're we're all here saying all these, you know, giving her all these comments. She just probably doesn't want to. Um, but this is what I mean about those hyperfixating on those numbers when you know that the rest of the day could turn out like this. I think those numbers actually put too much of a pressure on her because when she's going and eating, she has all those numbers in her head saying, okay, one, two, seventy two, five, six, seven, eight, nine, whatever. She ha has all these numbers and it stresses her out and she's like, screw it. I'm just going to have whatever I want. To you guys saw. And then I tell myself... I won't, I just won't eat for the rest of the night. I sit there and lie to myself over and over. I'm like, oh, I got this, I got this. Like, you know, I had my breakfast, I had a big meal. I don't need to eat at all for the rest of the night. I'm fine for hours. I'm talking, I'm fine for literally hours. Probably six hours later and I'm ready to eat the house. You know, deep down, I don't think she's a hor horrible girl and I think she gets frustrated at herself and then she projects that onto other people. This is a time where she was so much more nicer and friendlier and sweeter and I really do miss this, Amber. Um... I think you've I, the great thing is you've identified what the problem is. It's the second day of the the second half of the day that you have trouble with. There are so many things that you can do. You can get your meals delivered so that you don't have to think about it. You can get really really nice meals where you don't have to think about these kind of meals. You don't make sure you don't have anything to snack on in the house either. And you could do that because it would benefit Becky as well and I'm sure she would have agreed because when she broke up with you, one of the things were that you know you guys were always out of sync and you whenever you were eating bad she was eating healthy and whenever she was being healthy you were eating bad it would have been a good thing for both of you um but yeah it's sad isn't it it's this overpowering sensation that i get and only people who struggle with binge eating will ever understand so i don't really want to sit here and have to explain myself what i experience when i go through it but it's really terrifying i feel like I'm almost being possessed and I know a lot of people who don't suffer from binge eating they look at it and they say no this is just a lie for you to eat I literally hate food right now I hate food so bad but I'm about to stuff my face this is honestly the truth of what is about to happen right now I have made two TV dinners they're Indian I will show you a picture right now so that was them before I cooked them and this is them now so this is both of them together. This is how much it is. And it doesn't stop there. I also have a bag of things that I will be eating. I have some kettle cooked mesquite barbecue chips. I won't eat all of these, but I'll probably eat a good half or three fourths of the bag. I also got some ultimate chocolate chunk cookies. This comes with, I think, three cookies. I've actually never had these before. Yeah, it comes with three cookies. I'll probably eat two or all of them. And the last thing I got, which this is one of my go-tos, is a milk chocolate Dove bar. And I'm going to sit here and eat all this and I'm going to remind myself, oh, it's okay, I'm 27 years old, I'm binging my life away, oh, disease this, disease that, all while feeling completely blissfully happy, but also guilty and disgusted. This is the truth. How incredible, yet how sad. Um, I believe that she was being 100% truthful here. She was very honest. You can tell from the tone of her voice, she was just fed up and just sick of it. And there's a reason for why these videos get a lot of views. It's not just for the sake of it. It's not that, you know, the algorithms just worked. I feel like it's because it's so relatable. A lot of people can watch these videos and find little points and feel that actually, you know what, I do that too. And it's really interesting to see it from a different perspective because when you're in it, you can't see it. That brings us to the end of the video. I'm so glad you're all here. My old subscribers, my new ones, leave me a comment and I'll get back to you and we can keep in touch. Love you all. Bye-bye.